What is going on, sixpackabs.com? It's Thomas DeLauer, your lead nutritionist and lead trainer here on Six Pack Abs. So, today I wanna to talk about your traps. Now, your traps, people always think that you have to be training them ridiculously heavy. That's a good way to mess yourself up because you're having to load yourself up with a lot of weight and you're really putting a lot of stress on your shoulder girdle. Now, you'll see in my program that I talk a lot about time under tension training and how it's a lot more important and a lot more effective. So if you wanna check that out, you can see it in my intermittent fasting program and time under tension protocol down below in the description. But what I'm gonna show you today is three unique ways to train your traps with a little bit less weight. See, again, the traps are a big muscle. They can handle the weight but it's usually our shoulders and usually our arms and the rest of our shoulder girdle that ends up having a little bit of an issue. So first one I wanna show you is just a different variation of the standard trapezius shrug, okay? I'm gonna take 50s, okay? I'm a relatively good sized dude and most people would assume that I'm gonna be holding 100s or 120s to do my shrugs. No, 50s is all I need. But what I do focus on doing is always rotating the positioning. So I start with having my palms face a little bit more forward so that I'm actually in a proper postural position and then I focus on my shrugs, okay? Most people just put their hands to the side and just shrug up and down. The other thing I don't want you to do is roll. Don't roll, okay? That's a good way to mess up your clavicle and it's a good way to really start messing some stuff up. So I want you to focus on just simply up and down with your palms facing forward and the one end of the dumbbell should sort of ride along the side of your leg. Okay, you're gonna do a few reps and then I want you to rotate to the front and do five reps to the front. No rolling, none of this, okay? All you're gonna do there is jack up your neck. Don't do that. Easy up and down with no roll. Switch them to the back, up and down. And you will find that you end up burning so much faster in your traps that way. It allows you to go with a lot less weight and a lot more reps, which they're gonna respond better to. You should let the size and the actual bulk of your traps come in from moves like deadlifts and things like that. That's the best way to actually build them up with mass. Directly training your traps, you don't need a lot of weight. Okay, this next movement uses the dumbbells again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these and I've got an incline bench here. And I'm gonna get on the bench, just like I was about to do some kind of dumbbell row. And I'm doing the same thing, shrugs. What a lot of people don't always realize is your traps, as you can see with the camera right now, actually come all the way down my back to about my mid back. So this kind of movement right here still directly works the traps. So it's still a form of a shrug. No rolling, definitely don't wanna do that. And you can turn the palms forward and back if you want. Don't do this, don't bend the arms. And mine are already burning. Super simple movement. And if you want, you can do a drop set. So which would mean that you can drop to a lesser weight and you can keep on burning them out. That's a really powerful way. I've got one more one to show you. This one's a single arm movement. Forgive my breathing. All right. So here I have a fixed bar, or here I have a barbell. Okay, I put tens on, nothing crazy, like super light. You see guys at the gym throwing on two, three, four plates and they just sit there going like this. They think they're working out. Now, you're just messing up your nervous system. This. Super light, I've got a 45 pound bar and two tens, okay? 65 pounds, you can do it with just the bar. One hand, standing upright, doing a single arm shrug. I used to do this on a Smith machine, and then I realized that it was forcing me into a motion that I didn't like. I like having a little bit of flexibility to it. The nice thing about this, it also forces an isometric contraction of your abs on the opposite side, so you're getting a two for one. You're getting the trap work, but you're also getting the ab work. The nice thing about this is it allows a little bit more dynamic range of motion. When you're doing shrugging with both arms, you're just tensing yourself up. This allows you to get a little bit more flexible. Okay, you go ahead and repeat. Same kind of thing. Cool thing about training the traps 
is it gives your shoulders a whole new look. Now that I've got a little pump going on just from that, first of all, lightweight is going to give you a lot more of a pump. You can see it changes the look of my shoulders entirely. I have much more of a cap here, which thereby creates this illusion of more rounded shoulder caps. It's a way that you can look bigger and look stronger without having to weigh a bunch more. So anyway, that's a quick tip for you. That's how you train your traps. Don't be schlepping heavy weights. That's just one good surefire way to get messed up and get hurt. So in the description below, you can check out the program and learn a little bit more about how to train with time under tension. But until then, I'll see you in the next video.